Hello? No oh my god, I hate you hey, so much. Hey, why? Is that not a good, like, in-depth D&D thread, bro? What are you talking it's about? It's a fucking amazing thread. <laughs> but you were like, I oh got this really cool thing. I just like a Reddit thread, and it's like Twitter. I'm like, huh. I yeah, see. how does each D&D &D character class come? Like, the question we've all been dying to know. And we'll be answered here tonight. No. <laughs> I like the Barbarian one. That one's good. Barbarian one's pretty good. <laughs> The cleric one's funny. <laughs> Did you just... You sputter in disbelief. The monk nods. But you weren't even touching yourself. <laughs> <laughs> they shrug. I have excellent control of my own body. Don't worry. Don't expect the same from you. For you, my love, I shall employ all the arts I've learned here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That is fucking good, man. Holy yeah. shit. That's fucking great. <laughs> oh, retweeting that. All right. Hey, everybody. Dungeon Discourse time. We're here to talk about some D&D. &D. Isn't that right, boys? No. Boy. What do you mean, no? I don't know. What's up? Can, we how can we be nerds. sure? Hey, Bellfollomew Bethlehem something. Missed? Ah. Hello. Hello. Hold on, popping right. out chat. Welcome to Dungeon Discourse, everybody. The show about the show. Ab. We're going to be talking about the last episode of Dungeon Select, um, When It Rains It Pours. And we're going to talk uh, to, to Duke and Koibi. That's what we Discuss some things regarding their characters. I didn't agree. Because uh, they've had some significant moments happen over the last uh, session slash couple of sessions. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and we're just going to, we're just going to, we're just going to go for it, you know? We'll start we'll off fucking with... Fucking uh, do it. Start off with any announcements that we want to make before we uh, get into this. I'm sure Corbin's got loads. Oh, loads of announcements. Um, yeah. No, I don't. Nice. I might stream next week. I don't know. That's probably Yo. not true. It's me. It's not true. Don't make it's promises you can't keep. To lie to you all. <laughs> Wait, Corbin, aren't you like selling your soul to buy Elden Ring now? I mean, I basically have. Did you sell like a bunch of like Team Fortress 2? Like shit? <laughs> yes, or I bought just, sold just a bunch of shit on my Steam. I was like, I don't play CSGO like ever or TF2. Yeah, so that's, that's what I did to my potion craft. There you go. So it's, you know, it's me. I'm but still I getting raised, emails like... to this day yeah, from same. Steam saying, I... oh, Steam sold, Steam items sold in the community market. Yep. You know? I checked my email after like the first day. I had like 30 emails from Steam. I have yeah. made £49.52p. From selling He's it. on his way to Elden Ring. Almost. I mean, like, what, Elden Ring is forty nine ninety nine. So. Oh shit! Well, there you go. You're almost there. Good. Yeah, fifty quid for Elden Ring. Deluxe oh, edition sixty. Yeah, deluxe edition is not worth buying though. Exactly. It's um, what like you get the soundtrack and a digital a digital art, art book. book. Yeah. The soundtrack does bang though. You know. Yeah, but it's gonna be on Spotify or whatever. I'm waiting like, for it to be on Spotify. YouTube, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm waiting for. Um, <clears throat> I have an announcements. We're also raising money for RAD, guys, charity, and all, all right. that. Exclamation mark RAD, exclamation mark charity, exclamation mark donate. If you wanna, we're, I think we're 20 bucks away from 800, which is pretty, pretty epic, if you ask me. It's good shit, it's good shit. Um, That's about it, really, I'm sick. I'm so. gone as of Sunday, that's really it, I mean. I have a, true. I've been having a fucking throat infection all fucking week. Beginning of the week, I couldn't fucking, I could barely speak, Oof. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't eat. It's a little better now, but my throat still feels very, um, very, very, very just clogged. You know, my nose is a little. <clears throat> so I'll be, I'll be doing that a lot today. Week. Hmm? I think we're going to have D&D &D this week. Yeah, the thing is, <sighs> yeah. I canceled D&D &D this week because I'm supposed to go to my grandparents. They're like 60th yeah. anniversary. But if I, if I still feel the way I feel right now, that's just not happening. You know what I mean? Like, fuck yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, you don't want so them we'll getting see. the loogie. <clears throat> Like it's not Ronies. I've tested myself twice. It's no, just it's Ronies. just a good old like it's something along the lines of like a throat infection because my throat feels like super swollen as well and it's just like <laughs> it's not good, not good. Because you've but been yeah. sucking Kaz's massive dong. Yep, I mean bigger dong than mine. That's for damn sure. That's not hard. That's a very low bar to be fair. Um, right, we'll start off with a little recap of last session. Last uh, session, uh, Davian and Siren met up with uh, Sir Oliver, a um, man who turns out that back in his day, when he traveled to Lake Udina, it seems that he had the same, if not a similar quest as Davian has, collecting the yeah. Tears of Kasuth, which uh, didn't end up 
going too well for him. He explained, uh, like, between some, some like, ravings of seemingly kind of losing his shit a little bit, uh, memory loss, that he um, entered the volcano under, under, under the lake, got hit by some very, like, hot, like, you know, just like a... You know, there's like there's like geysers and like steam and shit that just shoots out of the fucking earth. It's hot as fuck. Uh, yeah. Then and showed how it, basically his complete arm is just completely covered in in scar and burn like burn scar tissue. Um, he also explains that uh, when that happened, it all went black for him, and he woke up on the beach, and seemingly missing a two week gap, where he has no idea what the fuck happened, how he got there. He went back to the Triton of the lake, um, and they all acted like they didn't know him. It was the first time meeting him, and he saw in uh, one particular Triton, the, the, the healer of the tribe's uh, eyes, that she was she knew who he was. She just didn't want to acknowledge the fact that she did. So there's some mystery there. Uh, Davian had a little conversation, a little one-on-one -on -one with uh, with Kasuf. Talked about some things. Talked about you know. Um, Unraveled some mysteries about a certain beastie that may or may not be kept underneath the lake. Uh, an aboleth. Beast of the lake. Beast of the lake. An aboleth, which is basically an aberration Warwick. native to the elemental plane of Wu'a. And uh, not good. Not good. Bad news. Bad news bears all around. Uh, and also got requested that to tell Kess about... The fact that Kosuth may want a little bit of a, a meetup with uh, the air gang, so to say, about Estisha, because um, something—he's oh, a bad boy. Yeah, Estisha is, is being a naughty boy, <clears throat> according to Kosuth. You know, uh, on the other side of that coin, um, you guys were still traveling into the jungle, uh, encountered some blood apes, uh, which oh, have man. the nasty ability to just fucking enlarge themselves and become fucking massive beat at beat fucking brooks up uh like nobody's fucking business and um a bit of a bit of a kerfuffle between Siren and Lazarin uh, which I'm sure we'll talk about <laughs> today <laughs> and uh, at the end of the sesh you made it to Sethka Sirin's hometown, and you met up with with Nuxa, uh, and that's basically where we kind of left things. Um, you're there, pretty much. And from there oh. on out, it's, it's a small ways away to get to the lake and uh, no, finally no, no, no. get to... I oh. thought we did our watches, and then that was it. We That was the end of the session, right? Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah we didn't, we didn't, we didn't get set up, up, but... Oh, but I mean, I well, think we basically were going to be. Yeah, right? yeah, like... okay, that's my bad. I, I, then I, the, yeah. That's basically what I wrote end session here kind of thing that was like my guesstimate so i guess yeah we, we didn't quite make it we did the watches and you're basically there right you're basically there. so the like, session will be like you wake up you walk to sefka <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, yeah 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 um yeah but um just overall thoughts on the last few sessions from from both of you i'll go I'll first because i'm I'll, the best I'll, I'll okay you go first <laughs> First the worst, um, second the best HP. I still, I still, I, I'm, I'm still kind of thrown uh, about. We, we, we've uncovered a lot about Lazarin in the last couple sessions, um, yeah. and you know, pretty much all of it bad. <laughs> like, yeah, like, so great. not necessarily. Well, some of it is a, a judgment of his character, and some of it is um, to, more, more. This, the the night webs like that whole thing, but yeah, he's he's uh, not all that he seems, which yeah is I mean you know credits to Koiba, what a great hey. character. I did it. I made a good Shame character. Is a, shame is a dick. Hey, <laughs> but the, it's like that's though, what makes know? him great. You've made a cleric that's a piece of shit. Yeah, she's an asshole. And that just likes to pretend that his family's way better off than they are. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. 
They used to be. They used to. I don't. I, Back I in wouldn't the say. Days of days, I don't think this was doing great. We had a, the chain of shops all across the kingdom, and now we're nothing. nothing. I don't think he acts as if his family is rich, but he definitely acts as if their name means something, right? Yes. Like, it's not so specifically that they have a lot of money, but just that oh, they are the Venor Dunbar. Venor Dunbar is whatever the fuck. No. Um, and it's like, it's the fact that. Yes, he's a cleric, and yes, he has clerical magic, but he's not a holy, like, he's not, he's not a spiritual person. He doesn't he, have- He got sold to the church. He doesn't have faith. He's not spiritual. He just is a cleric. His, like, uh, it's a job. His, his connection with Joaquin, as many things are when it comes to that whole religion of Joaquin, was a business transaction. Yeah. Borderline because... Warlock. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and like, that is See? cool. But it's also a bit, well, it's a bit, you know, it's a bit true neutral, isn't it? You mean what Elazarin is? <laughs> exactly. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> being pretty true, true neutral, neutral right now, bro. True neutral like, to the core. I think, yeah, I think, I think that's Davian, kind of the point, you know? Davian is also, we have a super neutral party, like, yeah, across the board. We is do. anyone, does anyone have a good alignment? I know alignment doesn't really mean anything. Yeah, the only person I can think who would edge that is, might be occasionally, like, Daigon or... Daigon's lawful neutral. Yeah, yeah that's true, more lawful neutral. Lawful, 100%. True. But I don't know about good. good. Brooks, mm, Brooks could be good. Edge your side of, like, chaotic good. Yeah, like, he's... Like, does the right thing, but it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, he does have, argue, he does I mean, have some sort of compass. Kess is chaotic neutral. It's not. I mean, yeah, absolutely. she's fucking a wild card. It is weird that like al know what alignment doesn't next. really mean anything. No, alignment doesn't mean shit. No, alignment I means reactive, not proactive. Yeah, when you have you know a cast of individuals, that's exactly what they are, and like Kess is. Kess is is like Gen, but without the moral motivation. Like Gen was definitely chaotic good, but boy was he good. Mm -hmm. And he would do all sorts of weird little pranks and tricks and shit like that. I remember, I remember stealing. I remember like as Gen stealing money from someone and then like throwing it in the back of their car when they didn't know because I was like, I'm not gonna steal from him. Whereas Kess, seems everybody like everybody in the party is neutral. Money. Literally everybody. Yes. Oh. There you go. What a what a wild way to be, but <gasps> bless me. Oh, discussions, Jesus, because like we don't have hard morality of like one person's like no we have to, come on you have to do the right thing to save people we're like yeah, we're happy it's... to be like we are not running into that burning building that is fucking suicide that is not the right thing to be doing here yes it sucks but we gotta fucking move on like we can there's, do there's this also right now. like yeah we we the the conversations aren't about what's gonna do the most good it's more like what's gonna have the least collateral damage yeah like. Oh, mm -hmm. we're go okay, we're gonna go <laughs> after the Tears of Kosuth. We don't really know what the result's gonna be, but, like, each step has been, so like, the benefits have outweighed the potential drawbacks. I mean, yeah. going after... There, there've always been some, some kind of contract, some kind of quest, some kind of large reward that lined up with getting the next tier. And then this time, it's like, well, the collateral seems pretty low. Like, the 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 Triton... I mean, until we learned about the Aboleth, it was like, ah, the Triton might not destroy us. And then, like, through all of this, Davian is, like, kind of leveraged... Um... Kess. Like, the whole time. Because knowing... And and getting Kess invested in his own journey to become a warlock is like mm -hmm. that's she has personal investment in that kind like to a degree like she's definitely interested in seeing this happen and so yeah. if I can't lean on a large monetary reward or like you know <laughs> glory or whatever that's definitely going to get the others involved at least I can lean on like having another you know 15 percent of the group on board so that when it comes to any kind of discussion there's always like that <clears throat> kester's little chaotic like yeah fuck it let's do it and just hoping that that <laughs> that'll drag diagon in and then that's half the group and then you know the rest might as well follow but yeah 
there's no the reward the reward now especially for the third tier is like at this point just finishing the damn thing you know even if it's been a long time coming, there's yeah. no quest to go deal with the triton or the Aboleth. i think everyone now at this point is like well we want to see what happens when he gets the third tier right yeah it's like you know we've come all this way there's no point in turning back now kind of thing like we're yeah. here, you know we're pretty much there now we might as well see it through what do you think about the last couple of sessions quite well yeah i mean allows me as myself as well just like i need distraction from what the fuck is going on in him like with him at the moment he is taking like so this is like yeah fucking i'm not dealing with what i have to deal with D done next question <laughs> like why are we doing might die while i'm at it yeah bonus. yeah, bonus. yeah bonus. Like, oh oh it's a killer thing it's not my fucking problem if i die no i've loved i've loved these last sessions it's like one of the main reasons i play D, &D is for this fucking like you give Dutch such a basic, not even basic, you give such like just a simple little couple of sentences, like I tend to do, or just a few bullet points. And he asked me one or two questions. And we've gone through it. It's like, any last things you want to say about this group before I just have it? I'm like, here's one thing, type of little thing. And he just wraps it up. This bat, it's like wooden plank and like barbed wire, sticks some nails in it, and just waits around a fucking corner for you. <laughs> and the next thing you know, he's like, oh, here's your fucking backstory, by the way, you gave me. He's like, what? <laughs> Fuck? Yeah, I think the first time I really, like, really um, caught you by surprise was when Valor visited you when you were in Eldegon. Valor, Valor, I didn't expect to see Valor for a very long time. Valor was very much someone I was like, he's not, I, in my head, he was not on the continent. He was not, he was no near, and he just kind of said something. And that was like, that's what I had in my brain, because that's the last time I saw him was off, off continent. I was like, he's not going to be dealing with me. He's got other things to deal with. And he turns up like, fuck, Valor's here shit <laughs> like that's what i was like oh fuck that was my yeah. like and then like, we can go to valor or find what him. i just like what i like to do as well with that storyline is like yeah, there's a, a semi pressing because valor got caught but then again the last one also knows that they won't just kill valor because valor knows <laughs> things information that that, that they want that the night webs want wow. regarding the lazarin and he also knows that valor is a very fucking tough cookie yeah, you know I mean, like he's not yeah, the gonna zone of truth in a car battery, so the nips and yeah, <laughs> no one's a tough cookie. Well, you can refuse to answer. Just... Yeah, but that's what the car battery to the nips is true. For. True. Yeah, but like so, like there's yeah, freeing Valor would be cool, but it's not like do it now or else he's dead. Like yeah. and, and Aladdin the... knows that. And also the fact that like you know, you learning that General Cron. Well, and, see, here's the thing with General Cron. This and is why fucking the, the fact that New Darmouth has like this entire fucking district just being controlled yeah. by them and shit like that is. Yeah. They they the, have their shit like their roots run very deep and they run everywhere. My, and that's something that I kind of want to make apparent and like as you travel and find new places, it's gonna I'm gonna make it very apparent that pretty much wherever you go. There's always going to be some of the fuckers yes, nearby. Yeah, this is what I want. You know what I mean? this, like, this is what I created, why I wanted so much with this stuff. Like, they are fucking everywhere. Yeah. But, yeah. like, my... I don't know why I... Like, this is more like an Elazarin thing. But Elazarin straight up doesn't believe the Cambion about the General. He does... He, he Of everything that's been said, he believes everything else apart from oh you apart from this one person he's like you don't think wrong right. you don't think Kron's i genuinely like Elijah genuinely thinks that's a lie and that was just said as like a fucking god and the person that like you first interacted in the city with and the first yeah, person you like think is not to be yeah. trusted and like who knows we'll find out and obviously but like dude that's that whole thing yeah it that that whole fuck it yeah <laughs> like they're there was so much going through my head. I like I was doing the like what everyone else was talking about. I'm just like fifty different like I was Doctor Strange and the fourteen I million can't different wait for, like ways. for you guys to kind of like tackle that the whole like General Kron may or may not be because that's I that's don't even know like some wild shit, dude. Yeah, I I can't wait for it to be not Nightwebs. That's what I'm so like hoping because if it's Nightwebs, I'm gonna be like, well, Elijah is a fucking poor judge of character. <laughs> like, I'm just, it, it, but man, it's I can't it's see. gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be. There's more to it that meets the eye. That's all I'll say. There's more, there's yeah, more oh, to definitely. it. There's more to it. Oh, definitely. And like... I'm hoping to see something like... Mafia-esque about the Nightwebs. You know what I mean? Or like... Because they were kind of they were, they were kind of teased at this New World... Not New World Order, but like Illuminati-style thing, right? It's shadow government-y type. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that's, that's not so like, 
you know, we've seen we've seen street urchins that might be sort of ears and eyes and stuff, but like when you know, it, it's always like I'm always expecting something like I don't know, like General Kron. It, if General Kron is, it's just going to be like a perfect example because then it's like General Kron's been contact contracting us out. Like what? What have we been doing? General Kron's ulterior motives yeah, to why like is she doing what she's doing why hmm. did i mean yeah right like what what did we do i mean we should we should go back and check out the fucking undercraft of that magic shop that got torn up and like is someone moved in like a, did we did we make room is there a, oh, in, uh, is there a in, vacuum in, in is yeah. there a vacuum in streatham now where they're going to install some Fucking shady shit where where there once was some fiery shit like you don't know. No. There's but no like, need. there's no need to go back. You know, there. you know, like, yeah, yeah. You know, mafia now. shit where it's like there's construction contracts that yeah. just never <laughs> seem to end because it's a way that they're funneling money through certain things. Yeah. And like, is there a temple or like, you know, is there a temple to a certain? We already know Joaquin temples are apparently fucking prime pickings for this weird illuminati so it, is this well, is this the, you know the catholic it's all temples it is all... Well, yeah right i, I guess but then there's the that... easiest one to convince because it's yeah because, because they money. love money yeah. it's trade it's trade deals and it's money so so is it going to be like is there going to be like oh the weird high high placed joaquin priests who are actually you know sacrificing <laughs> children to stay young hey, or whatever. We'll you just know. have to play and find out. So I yeah. love it. So I love about this night webs is there's so many questions that you can ask and figure out, and there's so many things that like yeah. And the thing is, how most of the time, and like with storylines like, like this, most of the time, the answer you find to a certain question will just will just open up three more questions. Like, oh. yeah. Or B, you'll find an answer to a question you didn't even know you were asking until later on. You'd be like, yeah. Oh, that's who that was who we found. Oh, fuck. Like, yeah. So like, I can't wait. Like, obviously, this this whole like night webs thing. Um, I wouldn't say it's a slow burn because there's a lot of shit like it's very apparent that they are very hot on your heels all the fucking time but at the same time it is yeah, one of those like, it's one of those no storylines where I'm just like yeah. dude you can so wait much. a month you can wait a year you can wait two years before like resolving that shit they'll always be hot on your heels yeah, like, there's, no like, there's no straight up solution the, the whole thing of like how long you decide to wait is completely up to you guys yeah but they'll, and be even there. We... they'll be there waiting, and they'll be there chasing you down wherever the fuck you go until and you decide it's time to fucking get rid of them. And even then, when we, like, go face them, we'll then, like, we're having to undo a, like, multi-continental, like, organization. Like, yeah. no, you have to just try and take them out like a, like a city. We have to, like, make just a safe city, or then make a safe yeah. town, and then just that would just be our base that we live, because we know it's safe. Like, mm -hmm. we can't, it's one of those ones where, like, you cannot eradicate it because it's almost no. like an idea it's like you can't it's an, it's an ideology that people just subscribe to and no, uh, yeah there's you can't so many kill people an idea. involved now whereas like whoever the fuck may be in charge he cut his head off he has five generals that are exactly aware yeah. of everything every step they made and they can just boom kill him good yeah, but we'll what take over. is the ideology um, <laughs> would you like to know <laughs> no. well i mean what's the ideology of like the of the illuminati it's nobody, very nobody like fucking, nobody really fucking knows besides them. They they're more from what like Alanson knows at least at least what Alanson's been told is they are about ridding the world of corruption and like you know corrupt politicians and corrupt, you know like basically people they deem to be like yeah it is just that they're not evil version it's just of like, corruption is is uh, their vision of who's corrupt and who is not is very skewed. <laughs> it's just uh, yeah. Corrupt no. in their eyes is people who go against their agenda. You know that's yeah, their, exactly. You know. But what is their agenda, dude? Is there are no. a lot of things. A, a lot, lot of things. things. Yeah. Uh, power based point planet, one is power just money. they like to be the ones pulling the strings. Yeah, yeah. power and money. And they are doing a like with this whole like new continent, mm -hmm. fucking prime hunting grounds for this organization to start fucking getting their grubby little fingers and all kinds of fucking pies. But no, I'm. I'm I'm loving it. Um, you know, a lot has happened with Lazarin. A lot has been found out about him that like happened quite quickly. Mm -hmm. Um, and a lot of time like against him not saying tends to be other people say in front of the party or like 
say something and he's like, well, I'm not going to answer that question and I'd rather not answer that question, but I'm going to have to. Um, so he's kind of, he's dealing with that a lot. Elijah yeah, is like on no the parapet of, you know? Yeah. Elijah is on the parapet of, I think, like three different breakdowns that he just hasn't realized that he's at yet. And when they hit, he's like, he's going to be gone. It's gonna be <laughs> he's like, going gonna... to be like field position for like a week. Just... <laughs> yeah, li literally, he, he, he is ready to like break down on three different things and is straight up just like, I just going to not face it. It's not the time. <laughs> we have to deal with this but later. You can't break down if you're busy. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. exactly. It's it's too, it's the, too busy to be stressed. You know, little pirate, little pirate ship adventure after this. Plenty of shit to keep busy. God, pirate ship adventures. Things. Real talk. The one that's gonna make like it's gonna be a straw that breaks Colonel Brack, and he's just gonna fucking go mental on him, like <laughs> on some like and weird small to go, sea creature. And on a fucking ship on the open sea. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. He'll he'll just go stir crazy, <laughs> and I can't wait. No, it's more like we'll be fighting something, and Alan will just go in overkill mode because he'll just be so stressed. He like. I just want this thing dead. It doesn't matter what it is. It's like, I'm killing it. Jax, you know. Oops. Jax, yeah. Oh. <laughs> arm wrestling Jax snaps his fucking arm, you know. Yeah. You prick. In <laughs> thick wounds. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Hmm? Alrighty. Uh, do you guys have any questions for me? I mean, like, a question where, like, food, when it comes to Siren, mm -hmm. right, like, what was your sort of, th not thought process, on like on how Siren would react to like, obviously the bullshit that allows has been spewing to them um, for a long time? Well, the whole thing about Siren is, is that she may be uninformed of how like the real world functions because she's been raised in a very secluded tribe of people that only really interact with each other. But she's also not stupid, and she is a grown adult, and she f right now she just feels like she's being treated like a child. Being kept in the dark. Oh, we can't do that for... The pat on the head, and she fucking hates it. She's like, I, she's like, I'm this badass fucking hunter from the fucking jungle. I've seen... I've seen and killed things that many of you will have only ever heard of in your fucking, like, in horror books. I'm a grown-ass woman. I, I, Stop shooting me like mm. a little baby. Elasrin. <laughs> uh, that's, like, her but, biggest, like, issue right now. Funny. It's just, like, she... And that's why also why she kind of, like, uh, talked to Elasrin about it. It was, like... She basically is kind of, like... She feels that Elasrin wants to shut her out and wants her to be as far away from this as possible. But she is also like, well, if you want that, instead of bullying me until I go away on my own accord, be a fucking man, grow a pair, and fucking tell me to go away. Elasrin just refused. He's like, no, it's not no. not my place. To. He's like, the Elasrin's whole thing is he is a coward. He is. Mm -hmm. From head to toe, he is, he is just cowardly. But pretends not to be and just goes yeah i'm confident sure but he like if the decision was to run away or like do a massive fight he'd prefer just not to fucking be there and like he, he any confrontation he does not want it but finds himself constantly in different types of confrontation because of how he is because he's a fucking prick he is that person who will poke the person poke the person until suddenly they poke back and he's like whoa why are you having to go at me for as he's just you know like annoyed them to have a friend like that yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very much that like uh, it's just very not a decision I made in making the character but as it went I was like yeah this guy's a fucking not only he's a bit of a prick he's a fucking like coward about it as well he's not like I'm a prick because I'm Billy Big Box he's like he's a prick because he'll be like whoa hang on <laughs> how am I in the wrong I'm the one that's right <laughs> yeah and it's like Ethan saying like who would have thought that the strong independent woman wants to be treated like a strong independent woman instead of a fucking baby that's crazy, yeah. dude. Imagine that. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> and that's just like, you do, if you're a strong, independent woman, you make the fucking decisions then. And it's like, that's not the answer that we need to be heard. <laughs> and uh, no, she is, understand. like, she contemplated just fucking, like, she contemplated just, like, fucking kicking you in the nuts I'm and shocked. dipping out. I didn't get a fucking slap or a, or a punch. I'm shocked. Because I would have just taken it. <laughs> I was just like, yep, yeah, that's fine. But <laughs> looks at she's HP, not the looks... person to fucking slap. That's she's it. either going to fucking cut your balls off or fucking spit venom in your face and then walk away. <laughs> nice. 
<laughs> great to know as I just wake up to, as I don't wake up next session. Yeah. yeah, definitely two outcomes uh, that you that you definitely wouldn't want over a slap. Yeah. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. yeah, especially as I had like seven health. Slap, dude. Kick, punch, <laughs> no. Castration yeah. or spit in face. Cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's good. Anyone? Any other? Any other thing? Anyone wants to know before like, we move on? I'm trying to think. Like, oh. what's happened that I've... that isn't just current? Well, when when. When was it written that Sir Oliver was going to also have been on in pursuit oh, of the Tears of Kosuth? Um, when was that decided? When you when you like read the book about him, I was like, yeah. I was like cool, and I knew like at that point I was also determined that when you get there, it will be revealed that he's like in a fucking care care house and he's slightly losing it a little bit, and yeah, that was really hard to like fucking play by the way and play like convincingly you know what i mean just like randomly breaking down and like starting to stammer and shit that was really hard for me to like, yeah i mean a difficult <clears throat> thing to do in general like yes yeah, yeah it's difficult it's difficult but kind of um, sensitive as well like you you know yeah. you gotta handle it well yeah, uh it's like... it got written like a couple days after we had the session when you like read the book i was like i want to take his character and kind of make him be a little more interesting slash important than he may now seem to be because yeah. right now it's just like old man decided to after his retirement go adventure and, and explore this new land and i was like I was that's cool I was but i wanted there to be something a little more to him and then i don't know the idea just hit me of well, maybe he was once on the same pursuit of this gem or maybe he just heard of something called the a tear yeah. of kosuth i'm just like oh, i'm gonna fucking sure man look this up so you know Travis Willingham's character in the search for Grog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I was expecting when I read Sir Oliver's yeah. book. Right, right, right. I was expecting like right. some grandiose, pompous, self-assured, <laughs> explorer type, you know, who's gonna be like, ah, oh, yes, into the jungle, and then like gets bitten by a snake and dies or something like, <laughs> just like something really ridiculous or you or. Or maybe just you know an eccentric explorer who mm -hmm. who who was real as heck, but just a little you know a little unhinged. But he's man, he's past it, huh? He's not going yeah. anywhere anytime soon. Uh, well, maybe he wouldn't be past it if it wasn't for the involvement of uh, an Abeleth. Yeah, and I'm really um, I, I don't know. I want to see where that goes because obviously you're gonna go to Lakeudina. And he gave you a couple names. I forget the name of the healer off the top of my head. I, have, I took my notes, but like the I wrote the, it down, but the, the Triton Fe healer Fe that was like something. yeah, so, Faris, something like that, something along those lines. Yeah, something along those lines. Uh, that was like you know she doesn't really vibe with the whole Estisha thing, and and she clued me in on some stuff and that sort of thing. Yeah, and I'm but just, is it I'm just like I, I, I want to see if you guys, you know, like dice have to cooperate, of course, but like figure out what happened in that two week gap to sir oliver and why he doesn't remember that is something that and I... how he made it out alive in one piece and yeah. healed exactly i want to i, I want to see if you guys like figure that out because i have i have it's not all set in stone yet i'm still like workshopping the fine details yeah. about it idea. but i have a rough idea and um like, the thing is those triton are such a secluded community and don't like outsiders to begin with, but now with the addition of like, oh, there might be an Abeleth controlling the like important people of this community, which keeps the rest in check. And da, 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 da. like, you guys are really gonna have to fucking try hard to get all the details and really get get every everything you might want to know out of them. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's I won't know. I'm just going hack and slash. Just fine. <laughs> if Celeste is a member of this fucking Triton colony. I'm gonna be mad. Why? Because she was an ocean fucking another lake. Well, sure that, but just because she's cool and nice, and uh, this isn't a very cool and nice thing to do, you know. Fucking we'll comes Neswin. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> like... Nah, but because um... like, you know, I I had high hopes. All right, for Celeste. Okay. No, you haven't found her yet. Who says? Who says no. she's there? Maybe she's maybe she's gonna come in and purge the place with moonbeams. Who knows. <laughs> Um, yeah, so like, oh, obviously the next few sessions are going to be a bit weird mm -hmm. because I don't really want to continue the whole Tear of Kosuth storyline without you there and you're going to be gone for a while. So that's a bit like, I gotta, I gotta really 
look at things. So what I think I might do is that you, you'll get the Seth Ka, and I might I might just regardless whether you're being you're there or not, uh, just throw in like a side quest you can do for Nuxa uh, while he I don't know, I guess prepares something for you to bring to Lake Kudina with you or some shit or whatever the yeah, fuck. Yeah, like something like he needs he needs five mungberry flowers. Yeah, something, something like that. To make up. Something like that. Yeah, just so exactly. that just so that uh on the off on the chance that you're not gonna be there a Sunday, I don't wanna progress your storyline. You know what I mean? So Yeah, because yeah, that would suck. Yeah exactly. So so uh, we'll see. I have no idea how I'm going to do that yet, but then again, I have an extra week to think about that, so, you know, mm -hmm. we're chilling. <laughs> we're chilling. Um, snake wedding, let us experience a different culture. Yeah, I could I could do, like, oh, there's some fucking, like, you want tea festival going on. That's kind of fire. Pretty cool. Snake Pretty cool. wedding, and it turns out to be the red wedding. Oh, <laughs> no. Snake wedding, but it turns out that, like, the female snakes kill the male once they've... Yeah been impregnated or whatever and it, yeah, it, it is a red wedding but it's supposed to be that way <laughs> yeah i could do something on the lines of like there's just some kind of like you want a cultural thing going on that they want you to experience or some shit i don't know be cool it's all options yeah exactly what uh, instruments would a yuan t play drums i feel like they don't have lips so harp. woodwind and like mm, they do they do they do difficult. harp lute um, cello dulcimer Drum. Yeah. Oud. Maraca. <laughs> Maraca. <laughs> what, are the, um, what are the clicky clackies? Calypso. Castanets. Oh, Castanets, even. So not Calypso. Calypso. Fucking xylophone, dude. There's just like this weird, like, advanced fucking technology where they Vibrophone, just have xylophones. Marimba. Glockenspiel. They have a marimba. Glockenspiel. Oh, God. Um, I have a couple questions. Mm. And one we already kind of went into a little bit. You are. Um, it's for Koi B. Oh, that's me. I'm How okay. is Elazarin feeling after being called out by Siren? Uh, I mean, he Boy. doesn't feel great. He know it's that like he knows he said the wrong thing. Like he knows he fucked up, but also he just doesn't. That doesn't care. But it's just like, well, that's one way to solve the situation, I suppose. This it's just, lady's got me feeling fucking horny. If we no, um, <laughs> just. <laughs> Be an asshole, I guess. He's like, well, I guess that's what I'm doing then, huh? That, that's the road I've chosen, apparently. Honestly, so... dude, Davy might just smash instead. Fair. Go for it. It's free real estate. <laughs> Siren, Siren might, Siren might invite horrible. that to get back in the last room. <laughs> it's gonna be that, like, petty, like, I'm gonna make him jealous. Yeah, but, yeah, but like, a last room won't... But here's the thing, though. is last room won't feel jealous. He'd be like, yeah. Well done. <laughs> well done, <laughs> Oh, you're gonna get fucking shanked, bro. Holy fuck. Yeah. He's an asshole. <laughs> Siren is like big bad evil guy in the fucking making because of all this shit. You're welcome. I made... I made Siren the bad. <laughs> you're all welcome. God. As I said, so, Koiba like, think snake lady hot. But that's just like... It is, I, sure. <laughs> you know. I mean, DM thinks she's hot, dude. Yeah. It's cause I just think... Hot. I'm just like... I don't know. The shoulders Sorry. cry on. <laughs> Elasrin doesn't give a fucking hoot, huh? Yeah. No. Elasrin really kind of just... He's very selfish. He knows he... He's very selfish, and he also knows he isn't, like... I don't know. He just doesn't particularly want any, like, close relationships, if that makes sense. Like, he doesn't want to... He doesn't want to hurt anyone. So, like, stuff like... Going to a whorehouse and hiring whore is like, well, it's not hurting anyone, is it? This is like literally their fucking job. Like, it's the classic that like, doesn't want to hurt anyone, and by yeah. having that, Doing so, by having but... that ideology, does exactly that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like he doesn't, he doesn't, but he doesn't hurt yeah, because in because he normal be healthy relationship relationships people. don't work like that. So his exactly. like, I'm gonna keep you at arm's length because I don't want to hurt you, while the other person yeah. is like, well, I want to have a normal relationship with you. As a yeah. even as a friend, but you're like, no, I don't want to hurt you. And yeah, they're like, exactly. I just, I, you are hurting yeah. me. You yeah, are hurting exactly. me. Literally, and then he's but like, I just but, want a hug. But then he's just like, <laughs> starts pushing off of cliff. It's like, no, stop hugging. Yeah. Hug, hugging needs to say. <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, Siren yeah. is it, definitely one of the, the NPCs best. I I really enjoyed like writing and kind of, yeah. I, and she's basically like kind of my ticket. To play along in the world with you, 
uh, yeah. into that sense. Yeah. She, besides the story arc where 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 Sai was a part of the party, she's been there. She's been there on your first like big arc, and she's here now uh, again. Uh, and it's just kind of like um, I remember Duke. Uh, funnily enough, uh, that was you who gave me like the the criticism slash feedback. That was like. I would like more, you know, DM NPC smile. And yeah. I was like, yeah, it makes sense. It's cool. And I have like a. An and yeah, I feel like of... I forget Siren's there every session. Yeah. yeah. So, like, basically, what I've decided to do is like, whether it's a guest player or not, I want there to. Like, there's going to be more. It's not just going to be Siren. It's just like conveniently, you know, you go back to the jungle. So, why think of someone else if you can yeah. bring Siren again? Um, but I, I definitely want to do that more. And that also kind of just like. Uh, Gives me a chance to kind of roleplay a character longer than just oh we want to buy something oh oh yes yeah. I'm the cleric of the temple oh, I, I, I oh, think that's oh, why I wanted it be, you know what I mean like yeah. it's I think that's why I, why I encouraged it was because you like forever DM most of the time yeah. so it's you know nice to sort of you get to play a character yeah exactly partake and it makes sense like <clears throat> the one issue that I always have with that shit though is like. I'm scared to give you guys too much input. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, the I think Siren in you... such a way where, like, in the jungle, Siren knows where she's going, where she's going, mm -hmm. how things work, and how, you know, knows most of the creatures. But there's always that thing in the back of my head that's like, is this Siren talking or is this the DM just funneling information to them? You know what I mean? And that's kind of like, that's a balance that is really, I really got to keep in mind at all times. That I, don't I mean, Davian's like... a genius anyway, so even without Siren, we'd be fine. <laughs> Expertise in animal handling, plus five to, plus five to survival, plus I mean, three to nature. Like more the hmm, NPC and PC sex, please. I'm trying with Siren and Lazarus, but he's not taking it, Ethan. Like I'm trying. Bro. Well, maybe fucking try with a different PC then, huh? We thought about yeah, that. I have to make a new fucking NPC because Siren is not just gonna go for go like, oh yeah, let's fucking start fucking scissoring cats, is she? Yeah, this isn't freaking friends, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Fuck. Duke. Bro, I've got plus five into yes. level. Pipe. Did the knowledge from Sir Oliver make Davian hesitate at all? Is he more nervous now to go to the lake and try to get the tear, or does he feel more confident slash prepared? Nothing's gonna stop him, but he is more scared than ever. Like... Okay. Prepared, sure. Only knowing is half the battle. But... Like, knowing that there's a horrible monster doesn't help. <laughs> like, like there, there's there's not really any... You can't really prepare. The one... You know, Sir Oliver dropped a hot tip, and that was like, stay out of line of sight. And that's cool. Like, that might help. But... <laughs> hesitant, no, because he's not, he's not going to give up now. Like, he could have... He could learn that... The the fucking water in the lake was a, a hundred degrees Celsius, and he would find a way. Like he would keep searching for a way. So hesitant, no. Prepare. Like I guess you could say you prepared just because we know what to expect. Mm -hmm. But it's like knowing you know. You, it, does it help? Does it really help? I guess. Like they didn't know there was a monster before. Gives him something to fight for, I suppose. Because if the monster's mind controlling the people, and the stitch is bad, dude, I wanna, I wanna fucking, I wanna un, I wanna dethrone Istisha. I, you know, like I want there to be a a, a a water elemental revolution, and I want to see, dude, you know, I, not again. That is like exactly this. where this is going. <laughs> yeah, like, like. Like, the other elemental lords are already talking. The only elemental lord you haven't met or heard about yet is Earth. But, like, you you, you know, water being a bit sus, Kosuth and uh, Rosmu slash uh, Dashu, you know, the boys, are going to get a get-together and, like, talk about things. They'll probably invite Earthman as well. And it's just going to... There's there's a there's a change in the water <laughs> coming. You know what I mean? Like, there's some... Oh, there's, there's, is this a band? And the thing is... Like, I know why. And it has... There's reasons for it. But I'm really curious to see... When that is going to be revealed. Because... 
the whole like overlying plot line just or like storyline with this continent in general is very elemental in nature with oh this fucking like storm covered this continent for so long and suddenly it stopped yeah. and then all the like connections to planar to the other elemental planes you now know exactly where the connection to the elemental plane of water is it's at the bottom of the fucking lake and it's being guarded by a fucking abolith uh there's a there's a planar gate to the plane of fire on the continent somewhere. There's a planar gate to plane of earth, plane of I don't air. Know, I bet I know where it is. I bet Davian's got a map to it. No. <laughs> I bet he does. No. I bet he does. I'll bet. I'll, I'll bet two M and M's on it. You might have that's a, that's the map a, was in the wrong place. Uh, Duke. Yes. <laughs> like yeah, obviously. Yeah, obviously. I, um, and there is. There's some shit going on with the elemental forces of the world, or of the of the galaxy, of the multiverse. Multiverse, that's the one. Yeah. There we go. And it's all kind of centering around Agrand, the continent that you're on. And you guys are just caught slapping in the middle of it with one character who's casually related to some of the most important elementals in existence right now. One character being buddy buddy or getting close and buddy buddy with the elemental lord of fire. You're about to dethrone the elemental lord of water. Like you're caught slap bang in the fucking middle of it, and you have no idea how deep this is gonna go. <laughs> so the elemental lord of earth has got. He's got some shit. He, someone needs to get in touch. You know, like he's out of the loop right now. I uh well, there is someone in the party that doesn't know it themselves that what they are looking for is connected to that but it is <laughs> there's a certain party in your something. there's a certain party member that has like this map of like a bunch of different weird like places that are all connected no, close to each other like... that shouldn't be Eigen? yeah yeah going for some yeah. shit going and there. I'll, all I'll say is that that's that's probably whenever that gets Covered, that's when the elemental lord of earth is gonna make an appearance i obviously because of popular media like avatar that's all i'm saying because of like avatar last time and stuff you know fire is obviously quite uh usually it seems the bad guys right the people who have the flame spells are the baddies right and the air as well tends to be like so bad reductive. people yeah it is but you know what i mean it's that like because that's so ingrained in like mm -hmm. a lot of popular culture the fact that like those are the good guys <laughs> and it's like oh water bad it's like but water bad <laughs> oh boy <laughs> it's gonna no, like fire it is because obviously fire is like in D, &D that, right? the fire elementals are the most passionate and the most um like, intimidating but like i think even a like, kasuth intimidating as it may be i think he's uh hold on like, he's super intimidating and looks like he could be a bad guy, but I'm pretty sure he's neutral in his alignment. Probably. Yeah, true neutral. I mean, fire encompasses every every element. You can, you can, you know, oh, draw allusions or conclusions to, to, of, of, of so many different things, comparisons, in every element, right? Mm-hmm. Because, you know, every element has its its ups and downs, its pros and cons. So it makes, you know, it. I, I don't think it's, I think it's easiest to say, oh, fire, you know, fire burn, fire hurt, fire destroy. But like, you know, fire warm, fire light, fire cozy, creates, no. The shout to a man Grumbar, the uh, elemental embodiment of Earth, you know, big up. Nice. Coming for him to show up. Wow, not Brutus Magni, Un unbelievable. Boss of Earth, Earth Lord, Gnarly One, King of the Land, Below the Roots, Boss of the Earth Elementals. <laughs> Amen. I just think, like, I think it's cool. I think it's cool that fire and air. Well, I don't know. I've never heard of air being the bad guys. I think it's cool. Uh, I think it's cool that Fire is a good guy, and he is remarkably yeah. chill for an Elemental Lord of Fire. Kosuth is um, very intense, as Fire tends to be. 
But it, I, what, it, I, what I've hoped I've achieved is that, like, over time, and as Davian, as Kosuth basically gained more and more trust in Davian, um, his form has been less and less intimidating to the point where he's not yeah. just a fiery man. He is way less cryptic and now actually talks to Davian as somewhat of a, a normal person instead of his bitch, right? Like, the more yeah, and more you've words, kind of proven riddles. yourself, the more and more Kosuth has been like, okay, I don't have to keep up the fucking big evil firestorm yeah. like act. You know, it's not not, not necessarily an act, because that's definitely who we can be, but only to be able to piss him off, really. <laughs> he just, uh, apparently Kosuth has a type, and that is human explorers <clears throat> from the Goodwin Kingdom. You know, mm. that's very specific, but... Uh... I mean, even in this world, coincidence exists. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, it's going to be good, man. Like, I... For, going from the last campaign, where it was really just like... Fucking big fuck-off demon lord wants to come back to fuck up the world. Going to a storyline that's more like... There's something weird stirring in the elemental planes, and it is all kind of centered around this mysterious new continents that nobody knew existed 30 years ago and it's up to you to just fuck you're you're there and you're just ca gradually being like dragged into the mystery kind of thing it's well, I cool. like as well is all this shit cool. is happening and we're like fucking level four dude like oh god there's still so much i mean i've never like, quite been the do. type to send you on generic fucking quests and stuff i've know, always kind but... of liked just like epic grand story writing you're level two but... listen i'll just nerf a nilithid fuck it dude yeah, go true. find nilithid but it's also just like and a fucking hydra but like <laughs> i know it's... no it was exactly. great but it, it's <laughs> it is that like Man, there is still so much more to uncover, and like Absolutely. it feels like we are like barely scratching like the tip of the iceberg, but it's a fucking size of a mountain, and they're like fucking hell. <laughs> like it's yeah, so and that's much. also kind of what I which is great to achieve, right? That's why I've kind of bombarded you with potential plot hooks, and I kind of yeah. like you have all these plot hooks, and I kind of just want you guys to figure out what do you deem yeah. more important, and what do you think you should do next, and. Uh, and and that way, depending on the order in which you guys kind of do things, I can further develop the ones that you don't do and see what results that will, or like what consequences that will yeah. have for the world. And just kind of really be like, okay, here's, you know, pirate plot hook, here's fucking uh, nightweb plot hook. There's a couple of plot hooks that, that people have to their possession that they haven't shared with the rest of the group yet, so I'll keep my mouth shut. And it's just a matter of like, Ooh. well, it's just like, you have all these things. Ooh. And, for instance, if you were to say no to pirate plot hook, or we're like, yeah, we can do that, but like, like you could come back in a couple months or whatever. Yeah. That would have significantly changed that plot hook, but also, you know, would have some other shit would have occurred or happened. Um, you know, if you do Nightweb stuff next month, cool. If you do it a year from now, also cool. But it's gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna bring with it consequences for the fact that you've waited a whole year and yep, so that, just like, like in... pretty much every like storyline has that same like thing it's like the longer you wait that's cool you can do that but every time like every plot line you skip or push back is gonna evolve the world will evolve change. the world and the world will evolve around it yeah <laughs> because you, st you you are currently living in a very um new world quite literally that is still very much open uh, unexplored plenty of room for powerful forces to just kind of like need and, and, and a very malleable world for yeah. organizations like the night webs or some fucking sea bitch with a staff or this group of druid pirates that are just fucking actual shit up. sea bitch too mm -hmm. bitch queen uh, it's a bitch queen yeah to just evolve and become more powerful because who the fuck's gonna stop um, them some um, fucking, some honestly, fucking monkeys like, yeah. in a tree some fucking you want tea with their little temple fuck no there's 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 shit that like i would love to just throw a spanner in somehow but i'm already like <laughs> i've got my path you know yeah there's I've a got, lot of there's a lot of that i've got the i've got the the tiers i need the third tier and i'm on kasuth's side like i can't 
we can't go get the staff of the bitch queen and then i'm like yo i can't even remember her actual name but mm. fucking maybe the lord of water or some shit like i've mm. got the staff and it stitches out put me in chief like I, like some shit like that you know mm. um i would I, like that is just as appealing to me now as like fucking fire man fire walk with me twin peaks blu-ray <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. don't, don't ask um, I won't <laughs> <laughs> any Twin Peaks fans in the chat get that one uh, it, uh, but... doesn't fucking Samwise Gamgee star in Twin Peaks or is that a different show Twin Peaks I don't know I, I don't think so not in the original series no, but... that, that's a different show that I'm thinking of never mind um... no Fire Walk With Me is the is the prequel movie based on Laura Palmer so there you go. There you go. Didn't know that. Did he yeah. uh, of, of of Twin Peaks season one. I guess season one and two. Great great show. Uh but yeah, no, like there's so much there's so much in this world that I feel like if I if I hadn't if I didn't already have like a kind of a predetermined path from like what what I wanted <laughs> at the start of the campaign, I could dabble in if I wanted, you know? Yeah, no, and the thing is as well, it's like you doing this whole Kosu thing. Once you have that final tier and you like convert, essentially, to accepting Kosuth as your patron, him accepting you as his like warlock. I mean, that's just the beginning for Davian's path with Kosuth. You know, there's Dude, I'm so gonna much... blast fucking fire out of my asshole. Yeah. Like there's there's there that's just the beginning. That opens up a whole nother can of worms of like Like you're not gonna be Kosuth's bitch, but when Kosuth is like, hey yo, I need someone to fucking do this shit for me, he expects you to do it. And in exchange, you get some epic fucking warlock power shit, because that's how warlocks work, you know. Yeah. At the end of the day, so. Dude, I just I just remember that we played fucking spin the bottle, and it was great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you did a couple sessions ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good sesh. That was fun. Yeah. Do we have a fun game today? Hmm. Do we have a fun game no. today? No, 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 no. I'm trying to think of ways to do games that isn't just trivia, and I'm struggling a little bit. So. Uh. But. What I do wanted to do. With you guys. We created NPCs. You did, you did, you did. At one time. Is, um... I want to basically give you guys a little bit of a... a you know, a character description. And I want you guys to, like, just name him. Just think of a name for this character that I'm giving you. <laughs> if you know okay. what I mean. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna pull out a fucking randomizer. I'm gonna le read you guys the description, and you guys think of a name. And uh, you guys like separately think of a name, and we'll see whoever is active in chat. They can they can they can decide who did a better job, I guess. Um, let's have a look. Boom. First one. Fifty three year old male human diplomat. Um. Doesn't worship any god, highly variable mood, uh, prone to having some pretty fucking, like, severe mood swings. Only talks in whispers, occasionally uses long words just to sound smart, um, and that's it. So, 53-year-old human male diplomat, um, talks in whispers, uses big words to sound smart, <laughs> mood swings. I got a name. I'm a last name. <laughs> I'm <laughs> thinking. Okay, I've got. I've got fuck it, that's a name. Okay. Uh, Duke, you can, go, you can go first. Lexicus Archimond. That is pretentious as fuck. I, I vibe with it. I vibe with it. Wait, what? Uh, Lawrence Hugraf. But okay. it's not as, not as good as Lexicus, fucking apparently. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lexicus Archimond, dude, that's. Jeez. That has my votes. That has my votes. That's a, that's a, I mean, Anyone in chat? What do you think? Who do you think has this? Duke or Koiba? I mean... Alexis. John Borison. John Borison? <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. Well, as you can see... <laughs> Stop. <clears throat> repeat them for me. Yo, boys, repeat them. I'll, I'll write mine in chat. Okay. Right, so. 
I lo- when it comes to human diplomats, the letter X has to come out somewhere for me. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I kind of vibe with that. Yeah. I don't remember what fuck like Duke's one. But my, I don't even remember what guy my put to my like last name or something. Like something, Hugo-Graf. something you graph. The like Hugograph or something similar. Like that it was supposed to be. Duke's Duke. Yeah, right, Duke. Something. Lexicus yeah. Archimedes oh, takes now. that one for sure. Yeah, dude. All right, I just second it in one. Bro, and I'm gonna shit my fucking nappy. Male half elf sailor. Long, wavy, auburn hair and cyan eyes, smooth golden skin, worships Kelimvor, god of death, and is a very big, like, fan of necromancy in his off time. Um, uses very foul language. Uh, but also, as a side note, his worshipping of Kelimvor is merely for convenience. Okay. Yeah, I've got I've got a name. Okay. <laughs> and I fucking because <laughs> I'm boring. <laughs> Pirate half elf sailor. But yeah, sure. Oh, sorry. I, pirates is criminal typically. Sailors, you know, are just people that work on ships and shit. So right? he's so, a, he's above board as a sailor, but he also worships a god of death. Yeah, out of convenience. Out of convenience. How is he that convenient be- for anyone? He believes in whatever deity is most helpful to his to him as at the given moment. So like next week he might worship fucking the, the wild mother instead. You never know. It's just a small oh, detail hell. to him that's like he's slightly cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> I've got a name. I've got a name. Kobe, okay. you can go first. Uh, I was going to be boring and I fucking just looked at Chan and fucking even stole my joke. I was just going to say Cyrus Forlock. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Duke? Oh my god, I forgot the last name. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Listening to Koiba talk made me forget my last name. <laughs> Wait. Fuck. Um... First name is Dalen, D A E L I N. Dalen Whittlewick. That's a bit of a gnome name, really. Dalen Whittlewood. Huh? Whittlewood? I got some Whittlewood. He's got Whittlewood. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why he was worshipping the god of death. He's out there, he's, he's looking for the death note for every person that's ever made that joke. I'm dead. Oh <laughs> god. All right. Are we going for Dalen or are we going for Actually, go about fuck you. You didn't even try. You just named an old player character that you used to play for. Yeah, you. what's your point? Who wins? Fuck you. Yeah. yeah. I'm bad okay. at names, funny enough. Who knew? Female Goliath cleric. Ooh. Bald Big head, Bertha. abstract tattoos and red eyes. Rugged, pockmarked golden skin. Um constantly trying to outdo herself. Is materialistic and likes to swim. Cleric of who? Uh, of whom? Angarad, goddess of spring. Chaotic good. Oh. Fertility, planting, birth, defense, wisdom. For all kinds of aspects of her domain. Bertha. Is that too much? Can you really go with Bertha for a Goliath? Uh, Goliath names are a bit. I don't know. Goliath names, they are a bit. Uh, naming conventions are very um, simple. Uh, typ- typically, like one word and very simple. Yeah. Bren. Bren. But okay, do they have last names? Goliaths. What does uh, Gabby Beyonce? Yeah, it, te- it tends. Last names tend to be like. Uh, Eagle killer. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like that. It's something like, they've done. Something they've done. Yeah. Or the family has done, but it usually tends to be something they've done. Well, she's a cleric of spring. Mm-hmm. Love swimming. Bren. Shark wrestler. Bren. <laughs> Flower bloom. Okay. Okay. I was okay. going to say, I've got a similar something, but Zenya Bloombringer. 
Ooh. Bloombring, yeah, that's great. I was looking that's for like, bud, I was like, bud bloomer. Blo yeah, bloomer. I, I, I was like, it was like, what, what happens in spring? <laughs> Flowers bloom. Uh. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> like a, I mean, a Bren grass grower. Grass grower. <laughs> so that sounds like she's a dealer. <laughs> yes. She's got fucking. I, I like, I like Bloombringer. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's I cool. do. That's cool. I, I would give it to Koi I think. You know. Uh, the I one good name I could do Bloom, is... Bloombringer is like the fucking good version of Gloombringer, you know? It's like... <laughs> and where's Glenn Gloombringer? But Koibi, the... Yeah, I think Koiba... Koiba yeah, I, 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 I like that. Like Alright, how about... Bloombringer a, lot. a male half-orc locksmith, oh. cropped braided uh, brown hair, green eyes, smooth green skin, um, worships Mistra, goddess of magic, uh, very pacifistic, oh. but also very optimistic. Wears fancy spectacles, and has a joke for every situation. Okay, so locksmith. Yeah. But worships the god of magic. Yeah. So some one parent. Uh, we're assuming human and orc. <laughs> and presume like the human side. Is a magical person because why, how do you end up worshiping a magical god? So his name's just like Mike. <laughs> his name's like <laughs> Michael. Yeah, like Mike, but then took like the Orkin, the Orkish last name or some shit. <laughs> oh. Fuck. Uh, I don't know. It's like. He's, he's, the spectacles and the locksmith, like, it's all so, like, this guy sounds like half gnome, half orc, you know? <laughs> How does I that happen? Had, I had, like, a, my idea was more, like, he's a, so his name would be very, his first name would be very, like, orcish, his name would be, like, like, rockful, but it's spelled, like, R, apostrophe O, apostrophe K, and all that shit, but then his last name's just Smith. Smith. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I was thinking just a really normal name all around because, you know, <laughs> whatever. Just like, oh, his name's uh... Chet Smith. Mike Wazowski. Yeah. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Mike Ock. What? Michael Potter. Like, you know, just it's something really plain. Something really plain. Yeah. All right. He's definitely got, like, I love how they're, like this website gives you like a plot hook for each NPC as well. And his plot hook is cool. he lives with a succubus and they're trying to fit him in society. <laughs> Oh, fucking get it, Michael. <laughs> my boy. You're my boy. <laughs> Fuck. Shit. <laughs> Got a magic dad. All right, let's fucking do one more. Fucking wife to succubus. Let's do one more. Mm. His name really is Michael Hawk. True. Let's see. Female dragonborn clown. Clown? Clown. Wow. Brass uh, scales, so she's a brass dragonborn. Very clumsy, uh, fidgets intermittently all the fucking time. Um, openly worships Cyric, but secretly worships Falazur, which is the god of decay, undeath, and exhaustion. Yeah, um, some clown. I mean, it's, you know, serial killer clown, I guess. Um, shows very little empathy towards others. Uh, very good at keeping secrets. Cannot use her breath weapon. And always carries food in her pockets. <laughs> we have a a brass dragonborn clown, a female. Um, worships some kind of evil fucking god. And has snacks in her pockets all the fucking time. And incapable of using her breath weapon. Variac the Breathless. I mean, I had the Breathless as like in my head for fucking That's ages. Cool. That's cool. That's cool. Um, I was just in bracket. Yeah. Volo the clown. <laughs> the clown. Nice. I was just okay. gonna very much go call her like, like Silax. I think's the name I was kind of thing with, but that's all I had. I had nothing for this one. <laughs> just Silax, because that's naming conventions. <laughs> naming conventions. Dragon Ball said not to have last names. I mean, yeah, but obviously existed. you don't have to follow. Like, if you think of a badass name, like, fuck it, you know what I mean? I mean, clown, and then her clown name. It's true, just, true, true. It's just clown. Clown the clown. <laughs> good job, good job. But clown spelled K-L-A-N. Everybody put hands together for 
Clown! <laughs> if it spelled like K A U N. Clown. Like a German clown? Uh, yes. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's do one more. Is it uh, I, I'm giving that to Duke, by the way. Fuck you, Koiba. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> obviously. I'm shit. Who, who knew the, the guy who has to use random name generations and just like sticks them um, all together to make his fucking one. character names? A um, female hill dwarf barber. Oh, I like this um, already. Yeah, I like this. Very quick to trust other people. It's very mad at any semblance of an insult. Uh, worships Moradin, god of dwarves, creation, protection, stonework. Just yeah. like your very typical, just like lawful, good dwarf god. Uh, bald head, golden eyes, soft brown skin. Roughly three foot, eleven inches tall. Um, tiny Short. piercing on her left eyebrow. Uh, but yeah, so a female hill dwarf uh, barber. Dampy step stool. Purely just because I envisioned her, her as a barber, but like in like a human city or something. Yeah, so it has to like step on a stool to fucking reach. Yeah, yeah okay. Dampy, okay, okay. D-A-M-P-I. I don't think of anything, <laughs> dude. I, I'm so bad with names. Give me give me 10 minutes to workshop some ideas. Hang on. <laughs> Let's give a focus group. Oh, God. Okay. Um, so it says here, by the way, this yeah. is pretty cool yeah. and I kind of like it. Yeah. The name that the website gave her was yeah. Design's Shadow Hand. That's kind of cool. And then cool. as the plot hook, it says she's actually a doppelganger who killed the Zan Shadowhand and is living her life. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's fucking sick, dude. That's what sick as fuck. For what? <laughs> For what reason? Just wanted to live a life, me. I don't fucking know. Imagine, imagine being like, who's the most... Who's the person who gets to talk to other people? Like, this doppelganger is so lonely. I get to mm. talk to other people and, like, have, like, interaction with them. <laughs> and just go... Me. And just sees, like, this person in the haircut just looks at them, like, day and day out with stalkerish and then like, just kills them and takes them <laughs> over. Kills them and just takes over their life as if nothing. And just does it. It's like, oh my god. And no one knows the difference because they're always a bit eccentric. Yeah, oh exactly. <laughs> That's fucking sick. That's dude. fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, Duke's gonna win this. I, I have nothing. 100%. Just I can't. So bad with names. I'm great. I'm great with names. So yeah, I'm yeah. real bad. I mean, give me, give me, tell me what class they probably are based on the thing. I'm on it. <laughs> oh my god. So I just fucking dude. did another one. And that is just Orin Whitestone, female mountain dwarf juggler. Uh, Juggles hammers, 100%. But, like, as the plot hook, uh, yeah. seeks revenge for the death of her childhood friend who never actually existed. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck is this shit? What the fuck? Plot hook, she wants the PCs to help her name it, help her tame a troll. Cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, shit. We just passed 1k for charity selects. Oh, shit. Out of, like, nowhere. Dude, that's, yeah. like... Two hundred plus dollars. I was gonna say, does someone just drop like three hundo? Okay, hold on. Hold on a minute. Um, Holy fuck! Someone. Little, 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 have a look. So much. Someone dropped a two twenty donation. Holy fuck! That's wild. Hold on. Damn. Dude, we did it. Ooh. So oh, two twenty. Al Jarai dropped two twenty. Exclamation points! Holy shit! Hell yeah. And then Pariah Senpai with another 20 bomb as well. Charity, why not? True. That's crazy. That is fucking cool. A thousand dollars passed. Let's fucking go, dude. Good shit. Uh, being close That's fucking to awesome. Hot oh, dog. Does that mean anything for incentives? Hold on, let's have a look. It's two people. I think Swede's got one. I think Sophia? Swede is going to play Cuphead without swearing. Yes. Oh my god, poor guy. <laughs> and Sophia's doing an ASMR stream. Oh, god bless. Yes. <laughs> That means uh, the only like less than hundred bucks for Beanie to play Dark Souls One and hate himself. Nice, Fuck. man. He's really just getting into Elden Ring, and he's gonna have to fucking stop to play Dark Souls One. Oh, that's a shame, oh isn't it? Ooh. no, ooh. no, that's ooh, so ooh. sad. I've I played Dark Souls One for playing Dark Souls Three. Sad. Sad. Dude, I'm gonna use Maybe it to what the Tomb of the King or whatever, cool. Tomb of the Tomb of the Kings, King. Dark Souls 1. It's really fucking dark. There's only one song. It's a good fucking game, Beanie. Elden Ring is a phenomenal game. Dare I say the best game Promsoft has made. Like, Dare I just, say one of the best games ever made. Like, it, in, in every feel around the game, it feels like just it, it feels like Dark Souls 4. They just named it something else. But it's very much a spiritual successor to Dark Souls, right? 
uh, Bloodborne was a bit more of a of a of a of a step away from the Dark Souls franchise, but core elements were the same. Elden Ring in every way feels like a Dark Souls 4. Just better, more ambitious, more better, literally. Fuck. Anyway. Um I think that's about it. That's all I have for uh for this one. Uh, the group has been made, by the way, for the uh, Witcher one-shot that I'm going to be doing. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's going to be uh, Laura, Danny Dicely, the man, the myth, Yo. the legend. Um, Beanie, Koibi, right? Hell yeah, that's me. And then someone from Laura's like the side quest community uh, who goes by the name of Ismira. I haven't met her yet, but I'm probably going to hit her up for a little chat at some point and talk about d, &D things. But uh, that's going to be the group of witchers that are going to be going on an epic adventure in... I don't know, somewhere around... Uh, yeah, whatever that fucking... Me, uh, somewhere in... What is it? Rania? Do the whatever. and that shit at some point. To huh? Whatever the classes that we're going to be playing. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll send the documentation of that uh, oh, in yeah. that group chat this weekend. So that's going to be happening... Uh, no exact date set yet, but somewhere in the Soon week of the 21st of March. Yes. Somewhere in that week. Do, just do it on the Sunday, I'd say. You're tempting. Uh, could do, yeah. Could do, could do, could do. No, we couldn't because um, Denny's or, playing and Denny does Denny. his D&D &D thing on Sunday as well, so it's going to be a little rough for him. So we're not going to do Sundays. Yeah. Right. Um, sure. But pff, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll um, talk about it this weekend and set a date. Oh, yeah. But yeah, awesome. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Appreciate it. Y'all are lovely. Duke, this will be yeah. the last time we see you on this channel before you head to Florida. Yeah. Well, so, it'll uh, be the last time to see anyone on the show before I head to Florida. But, I mean, yeah, yeah, but like, you know, heard her. Uh, <laughs> enjoy, my man. Have a, have, a, have a great time. I'm sure, you know, you'll be keeping us all updated about uh, how big the fucking strap on is that you get shot. <laughs> <up your fucking>... <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Um, <laughs> I am hoping uh, to time. not keep anyone updated as much as I think that they would want to be. That's my goal. I, I don't want to. I want to. I just. I want to be a must. I'm used to being ghosted, so it's fine. Oh. <laughs> Every time you send me a YouTube link or something. <laughs> oh, that was more a dig at my ex than anything else. But yeah, sure, that works too, I guess. <clears throat> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you come at me for ghosting you all the time. Usually it's like, when we were doing the podcast, like every week you'd be like, well, I sent you this thing. Yeah, but lately it's about. been the other way around, I've noticed. Lately you've been sending me a lot of YouTube videos and I'm just like, blank. You know what I mean? Yeah, because most of it, 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 like, I don't expect to reply when I send you, like, a Jama video, you know? Like, I feel like, like, it's, it's one of those things that everyone is just like, yeah. Haha, uh -huh, XD, yeah. While I'm over here, like, yeah, yeah. and everyone else is just like, uh, yeah. At least he's not doing drugs, I guess. You know, he's keeping himself busy with other things, whatever. It's keeping him off I, the streets, I suppose. <laughs> I'm going to be streaming Elden Ring immediately after this, just so everyone's aware. So. Oh, you are? Nice. I'm uh, yeah. watching them. Fuck. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to not be doing that. Damn. I'm going to... 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 Go, go, go. All right. Go, go, <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate you. Have a great fucking rest of your evening. Have Thanks a great early... You no, know, it's Friday tomorrow. It's kind of like weekend-ish almost. It's Friday. So, um, take care. Take care. Brush your hair. See you guys next time. Ooh. Bum, 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 du -du -du bum, 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 b